Okay, let's get started. So I've been receiving this question uh, a few times already quite often about how to import an Excel file into QuickBooks Online. So I typically start in QuickBooks Online, but since we're working with Excel, I will be starting in Excel. Once you've created a blank spreadsheet or opened a downloaded spreadsheet from your bank, you will have to keep only three items, three columns. Number one, the date column, the description column, and the amount column. Everything else you could get rid of. Only keep these three. These are the only three that, the, that QuickBooks Online will be using. So you don't need anything else additional. Once you uh, have your columns ready and your rows with all of the information, then go to File, save as you can save it wherever you want but i'm going to save it to desktop and i'm going to save it under not excel workbook because that's where it will be automatically you're going to go down to cb csb comma delimited and then hit save and you're all done now let's switch over to quickbooks online all right once you've logged on to quickbooks online what we're going to do is go to bookkeeping and once we're in this transaction screen, we're gonna go to this link account in the dropdown and upload from file. So you can uh, select the file or drag and drop. I'm gonna just drag and drop. This is the file that I prepared. Hit continue. Now we're gonna select the bank account. If you do not have a bank account because you just started whatever the reason is you can add one here we're going to see select bank detail types going to be checking and let's say uh we're working with chase save and close and so now we have two bank accounts a cash account and chase hit continue so like i said in the spreadsheet is the first row in your file a header and we want to select yes because we put the date description and amount headers how many columns show amounts only one the date format i'm going to select month date year and then here's where we map it the reason i don't want you to have additional columns is because this will get messy just if you leave it clean it'll automatically detect date description amount so it'll all go alongside so these are the the quickbooks fields and these are the fields of our spreadsheet hit continue and now we see how it read the spreadsheet and it imported all three transactions that i had on the spreadsheet so hypothetically say two are correct one is wrong it shouldn't be there just select the two and then and don't select the one if all of them are good, then just select this one up here and it'll auto select all of them. Hit continue. We want to select yes because we do want to import. And now it says import complete. Hit done. And now we see that we have a Chase account. We did it before, now we do. And now we can see that all three transactions are ready to be coded and assigned to. Um, for our bookkeeping and very simple just like that you create the spreadsheet and import it into quickbooks online